Hey, it's Coach Justin from Ultimate Baseball Training, and in today's video, we're gonna talk about whether or not you should become a switch hitter. Let's just get straight into it. So let's talk switch hitting. You know, you might not even, especially if you're a younger player, you might not even know the benefits of switch hitting. Why do you want to do it in the first place? You might just be thinking that you can look cool swinging from both sides of the plate or maybe dad just really wants you to become a switch hitter and you don't know why. And the big reasons why is obviously as a hitter you want to do anything possible to gain an advantage, right? And so that's the whole theory behind it is, you know, that you can gain an advantage by hitting from one particular side of the plate. Let's say a right-handed hitter against a left-handed pitcher because you might be able to see the baseball a little bit better but even more so than that especially as you climb up the ranks everything is breaking kind of into you which is a lot nicer so as a right-handed hitter it's a lot nicer to see a left-handed slider kind of just break right over the plate and break into you it's typically easier to hit that than it is a right-handed slider that's coming at my front hip and then it breaks last second for a strike or even worse it's behind me a nasty slider and then it cuts across the plate uh, for a strike it's a lot more difficult to hit that so those are a couple reasons why you know you might be interested in switch hitting it's ultimately the the big reasons it comes down to you can hit from both sides of the plate it doesn't matter who's on the mound and you're gonna try to give yourself an advantage at the plate right now let's talk about switch hitting is it something that you should do well if it's something that you want to try, I think switch hitting comes down a lot to personal preference. If you think that you want to try it, especially if you're a younger player, then go ahead and try it. But a few warnings. The first warning is you have to give equal love to both sides of the plate. So what I mean by that is if I'm taking 50 swings from the right side in practice and I'm hammering the right side off of the tee, I can't just pack it up and go home after practice. If I worked right hand all day, guess what I gotta do? I gotta flip it around and I gotta take the same number of reps with my left side if I wanna be any good, right? And so you have to work every single area of the strike zone, you know, high pitches, low pitches, middle pitches, inside, outside. You have to work every single area, every, every single hot zone from both sides of the plate. So what I'm getting at is it's not easy to be a switch hitter and it's literally double the work. So just know that that's what you're signing up for if you wanna be a switch hitter. Another quick tip that I have for you if you're trying this whole switch hitting thing out is start doing some everyday tasks with your opposite side, okay? So what I mean by that is I'm a right-handed dominant player, dominant person for that matter, and every single time I'm at home vacuuming, I vacuum one way and one way only. Every single time I pour a drink or pour coffee, right? It's with my right hand. Every single time I brush my teeth, it's with my right hand. And so if you wanna be a switch hitter, then what I recommend that you do, it sounds kinda of cheesy, but start doing those everyday tasks with your opposite hand. Start brushing your teeth with your left hand. It's gonna feel really different at first but it's going to help you with just developing your body on both sides because you're trying to make your you know weak side for back of a letter for uh, lack of a better term you're trying to make your weak side more of a strength and that's a hard thing to do so it can't stop at the baseball field you have to also transfer that to home as well but here's my honest opinion. Should you become a switch hitter? For most players, I would say no. For most players, I would say you need to stick to your dominant side of the plate. And I think it's a heck of a lot more valuable in most instances to be versatile on defense than it is to be versatile at the plate. Meaning, you know, instead of just, oh, I'm strictly a shortstop. No, you can play every single infield position. If you can play third, short, second, first base, if you're an outfielder, if you're not just a center fielder, but you can play every single position out there, if you're a utility guy, then you're gonna make more lineups and you're gonna get you know a lot more playing time because of it because you're versatile and I think that if you're versatile on defense and you're able to just become sufficient at one side of the plate then that's all you really need so for the majority of hitters unless you're a really young player who's just trying this out for the first time and seeing if it's something that sticks and something that's natural uh, that's fine but for the majority of hitters I would actually advise against switch hitting because I think hitting from one side of the plate is hard enough that being said, there is one thing that I recommend every single player do, and I do recommend that you switch hit in practice from time to time. And the reason for that, the reason why I'm saying that is because let's say you're a right-handed hitter and a right-handed thrower like me. Every single thing that I do on the field from hitting, I'm turning this way. From throwing, I'm turning this way, I'm rotating this way. And so we're always rotating this way hundreds and hundreds, if not thousands of times 
every single day, right? And we never once turn this way, okay? And so that's gonna create possibly some injuries and definitely some muscle imbalances, which is what we wanna avoid, right? So what I recommend that you do, just it can be dry swings, it can be off of the tee, and this is just something fun to kind of throw into the mix. This is not switch hitting in a real game, but I do recommend that you switch it around and take some swings from the opposite side just for that reason of we're turning one specific way the entire practice it might make sense for us to turn the opposite way just for a few reps and just for fun see how see how many baseballs we can square up but another thing i recommend you do is actually switch hitting going from the opposite side taking opposite side swings in batting practice just for a couple swings before you flip it around to your dominant side and the reason for that is because it's going to help you with your hand eye coordination this might sound silly but i promise you try it out okay so i'm a right-handed hitter i don't have a good left-handed swing i tried switch hitting for a couple days when i was younger didn't like it so i stuck with the right side right um, but what I did notice is sometimes when I was pulling my head or not truly watching the baseball, I would flip to the opposite side and I would try to hit the baseball from the left side. Now granted, again, I don't have a good left-handed swing, so if I did not really truly concentrate on watching the baseball all the way to the baseball bat and connect with the baseball bat, then there was no shot I was gonna hit it. I was gonna whiff, right? So that's the whole point of doing this drill is you switch things around. You don't have a good swing the opposite direction. And so what you really have to do is focus on watching the baseball. Your eyes are gonna light up, watching the baseball all the way to the point of contact. Then when you flip it around to your dominant side, you're gonna notice that your eyes really light up and you're tracking the baseball much better. Great way to boost your hand-eye coordination. So should you become a switch hitter? Honestly, it's up to you. If you wanna go ahead and try it, especially if you're a younger player, and see if it's somewhat natural for you, see if you can work hard at it and make yourself a good hitter from both sides of the plate, then absolutely go ahead and do that. But just understand that it's gonna be double the work. You're gonna to have to show equal love to both sides. You're gonna to have to work really, really extra hard on it. Um, and I hope this video has been helpful in laying out some pros and some cons to switch hitting. I really hope you enjoyed today's video and if you're serious about really improving your hitting and your skills at the plate and you want to improve your bat speed and your power then I created a free workout that I want you to grab right now. It's 100% free. It's called the Bat Speed Boosters Workout. Now all you have to do to grab this is just click on the link in the first comment. I'm going to leave the link. I'm going to pin that for you and then all I need is a good email address where I can send you this workout. But basically you're going to go through the workout. It's filled with different hitting drills that automatically get you into great hitting positions and they're you know really going to help you boost your bat speed which is going to result in more power you're going to be spraying the ball all over the yard and over the fence and be rounding the bases in no time so go ahead right now grab that free bat speed boosters workout just scroll down to the comments and click that link if you're not subscribed to the channel, please do so. We're coming out with new baseball videos every single week and I don't want you to miss them. So subscribe and turn your notifications on if you wanna be notified whenever we release new baseball videos, which if you're a serious player, I know you're gonna do that. So hit that subscribe button, turn your notifications on. Thank you so much for watching and until next time, I'm out. Yeah.